Hey Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean. I have the honor of delivering today's word for the day. Do you know what hurts a church more than anything? It's people who gossip. And you know what everyone justifies in a church? Gossiping. Every church I've been a part of has some sort of gossiping going on, and the churches that are the most healthy seem to do everything they can to stop gossiping. And it's because gossiping creates this, this envy and anger and distrust and disloyalty. You see, gossip basically destroys communities. Gossip destroys our ability to be close and honest with one another. Proverbs 16, 28 says this, a perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends. You see, it's impossible to have healthy community with a gossip in tow. But here's the deal. To fight gossip in church is more than just not doing it. We have to replace it. We have to replace gossip with an attitude of transparency. And something I believe Calvary does really well is helping people be honest and transparent with themselves and the community that they're in. Because through crystal clear transparency comes truth and healing and love and growth and accountability and most importantly, works of the Spirit. Church communities that operate on transparency are geared to bless and grow and love how Christ has called us to. So it's imperative that we cast out gossip in our life and really assess where in your life it's happening the most. Where are you talking the most behind people's backs? Where do you justify gossiping? Where do you vent about others the most? Where do conversations about other people happen the most without it being productive or ever reaching the ears of the other person? See, we need to stop justifying it and instead replace it with transparency. And here's what I mean by that. Stop focusing on other people and focus on yourself. We're all so keen on talking about the faults of others without realizing the deafening fault in our own lives. It's time we give up gossip in every corner of our lives in order to focus on growth and love and honesty and compassion. See, every moment you've dedicated to gossip can now be dedicated to confession and that personal growth and blessing others. Now, I don't think you'd be surprised to know how much of a blessing this can be in your life, but it is. And in the lives of our church community, it's imperative for any type of growth. Have a great day, Calvary. Be blessed and talk less.